Hi everybody, welcome to Turnbull's. Coming to you live today, it's Thursday, 4th of February. January's gone, we're into February. Uh, we're coming to you live today from the Turnbull's Northumbrian Food Hall in the heart of Northumberland here in Annick. Hope you're all well at home. Coming up in today's video, we are going to take a trip to our butchery unit. We're going to meet up with Master Pete, who's got some fantastic rare breed beef he's going to tell you about. We're going to go to Butcher Dan, who's going to tell us about the perfect Valentine Day steaks. And we've also got um, a trip around our shop to look at some Sharon Platter inspiration. Now, I'm joined today, as ever, from the other side of the camera by producer Matt. Matt, how are you? Good afternoon, everyone. You all right? Doing good. Everything going okay? A okay behind uh, behind the scenes there? Everything running smoothly? Everything's good behind that camera. Excellent. Now, if you're watching live with us, hi, special hi to you. Um, if you want to drop a question or a comment or you just want a little shout out, drop your comments in the box below. Producer Matt is watching and he will feed it back to me. I unfortunately can't see the comments, but... Uh, Anyone, any comments so far, Matt, or is it all fairly quiet there? All fairly quiet, everyone. If you're watching, don't be afraid. Leave us a comment. There we go. Ken Holmes. We've got Ken Holmes. Hello, Ken. How are you? I hope you're well. Ken and, Ken and Jackie, I hope you're both doing well. Um, I know we've seen you in store. Now, it's February, as I said. Thank goodness we've got January out the way. We hate January. It's a long, cold dog month. February, it's still a little bit chilly, but what we have to look forward to in February is Valentine's Day. And we also have Shrove Tuesday, Pancake Day, here in the UK. Now, I've just been having a conversation with producer Matt, um, but I do follow a delicatessen on the other side of the pond, uh, near Detroit, and they've been sending me some lovely emails. Now, I believe that Shrove Tuesday is known as Mardi Gras over in the States. Now, producer Matt can neither confirm or deny that that is correct. If anyone's watching and you know better, please drop it in the box. But yes, we've got Shrove Tuesday to look forward to and Valentine's Day. So it's not all bad in February. And uh, here at Turnbull's, we've also now got our February sausage of the month, which is the venison sausage. So this is a venison sausage. It's made with venison from uh, Ingram Valley. Now I know I've had a few people in the shop who have been taking the, the their daily lockdown exercise in Ingram Valley and they've actually seen Ross's venison in the fields. Producer Matt, I know you've been up there. Yeah, I like to spend a lot of time up in Ingram Valley as well. Uh, yeah. Good friends with Ross. Uh, we do a little bit away from as well. So yeah, love it, love it up there. Fantastic really, really setup with the venison. So we got really cool. Ross's venison sausage. There's a bit of, a little bit of pork blended in here and Master Pete has worked his magic as ever with his sausage. Uh, it's on all month, venison sausage, sausage of the month. We've got our wine of the month, which is this, well, just fabulous Rioja. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sample that with a Sharon platter in a little while, I think. It'd be rude not to. So, yes, February, not all bad in February. And we've got something very, very special coming in store this weekend. Master Pete, we've had a few requests in store. We've got a lot of interest in rare breed, rare breed brief. Now, as you know... We sell local, uh, local beef, always Northumbrian, sourced from Acklington Mart, from a number of local farms. But we've had a few people wanting us to try some, some rare breed beef. So I think we can now go to our cutting unit producer, Matt, am I correct? Can we cut to Master Pete, who's gonna tell us, Master Pete and Apprentice Rob, who are gonna tell us all about rare breeds beef. Right, Rob, today is working on the short horn uh, cattle that we've brought in from the, the borders. It's a, a, a smaller uh, breed of beef, which has been matured and aged in a dry aging fridge. The short horn is uh, it's a beautiful beast. It's been slow bred, so it's got a nice marbling and a nice uh, layer of fat on, and it'll be a beautiful eating beast. Managed to get my hands on a few breeds, so we've got uh, a Hereford Cross, Sirloins and ribs in maturing, maturing away nicely for their three weeks old. We have Longhorn in, and for three, in three weeks' time, we have an Angus coming in from Ross up at Ingram Valley, and we also have a Pure Galloway coming in too, and they're all going to be four weeks old. 
Yeah, it's, we're just sort of mixing it up a little bit because we, we, we buy from Acklinton Mart around the local farms and the Limousin is fantastic that they're the producer around here. But these are just a smaller cattle that we're buying in and they've just been matured a little bit longer and they've got a fantastic flavour and especially the fat that comes through is just, they're a tremendous um, steaks and joint. Well, everyone's got different tastes, but I love Galloway. I really, you know, it's been a while since I've had it. Because sometimes it's not that easy to get your hands on it. Um, so, but when we do, I really love uh, a belt of Galloway. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, beast. Well, I've got a selection of cuts from uh, different bre native breeds today. So, what I've got here, I've got the short horn sirloin. So, if you can see that. Long horn, that's a ribeye there. I've taken some off there. A roasting joint, a nice bit of top side off the, the short horn as well. For your stews, I've got some shin. This here, which I, when I cut through, I was pleasantly surprised. It was a fantastic bit of meat, that. Bit of roast sirloin. A bit of rib on the bone. And, because I know you're a fan of it, Matthew, my secret recipe, six ounce. These are off the short horn beef burgers. So, we're just a little selection of a few bits and pieces that we've got uh, in store in both shops today and over the weekend. Normally, we've, um, we buy from Acklet and Mart, and we are absolutely fantastic beef, beef from local farmers, which we use Limousin. But we've decided to get a, a smaller breeds in, well, uh, native breeds as well, just for a bit of a change. And when I've been picking them, now normally with the Angus and things like that, there are a lot of heavy marbling. But heavy marbling isn't for everybody. So I've, what I've done is where, if you can see there, there's a little bit of marbling in, a nice cover of fat on there. So it's a bit for everybody. So it's not really marbled and like, oh, well, I'm, I don't like fat. It's there so you can have, everybody can have a try of it. And it's not deeply marbled. But it has got that marbling for everybody that, um, that does like a little bit. But on, as a whole, I'm really impressed with it as the feel, it's got a lovely tender feel to it, and it's got a lovely covering, obviously for everybody to. So, as we've got the native breeds here, which are, uh, they take longer to mature, and to get the size, that's why you get this little bit of marbling and a little bit of extra fat on there. But, I've actually brought this in here to show you, because it's a Chevrolet, and that's the sale I was showing you before, which I was really impressed with. But, also, for the ones that love rib on the bone, look at the covering on that there, and a bit fat there, and beautiful, beautiful bit of rib of beef on the bone. Now, I just wanted to show you that, because I was so impressed with it. Um, and this, at the moment, is all three weeks mature uh, aged. So, it's ready now, um, and I think it'll be going around to the both shops this afternoon, so it'll be ready to go tomorrow and Saturday, and then hopefully we'll sell out. There we go, Master Pete. How good does that rare breed beef look? As a butcher, it, it's a joy to see meat like that. The, the color of the fat, just the, the covering, it is perfection. Lovely bit of marbling. If you're not keen on the marbling, as Master Pete rightly says in the video, there's just a little bit of marbling, so it's it's, it's got a bit of something for everybody. Producer Matt, what, what, what's your thoughts? You were over at the unit this morning with uh, Apprentice Rob. Did he do a good job of uh, burning, burning that beef out? I tell you what, we'll soon be giving him the title of Master Rob. He, he did a great job there. Uh, great skill, great knives. Uh, yeah, great, great work there from... Uh, Excellent. I hope everybody at home enjoyed just seeing that little bit of craft skill and, and, and sort of seeing what we've got on offer. It will be in both shops this weekend so if you want to pick some up call in and you it, it's going to be a delight for you the forecast is cold i don't know whether we're going to get snow i think it could be sleet but what better way to spend your sunday than with some delicious beef absolutely delicious now i believe we've got a few comments producer matt have we heard from anybody today yes so we've got brian hunt he's saying he must try the venison sausage uh, Brian, yes, Brian knows. Uh, Joe English is saying, do we still have chicken Kiev's, Mark? Uh, hello, Joe, I hope you're well. Uh, Joe, we have 
I believe chicken Kiev's in our town centre shop. We don't do them here at the food hall. Uh, we do a slightly different, uh, slightly different range of products, but you can still pick them up at the town centre shop. Uh, as as we've always done there. Yep, we've yeah. had a question and, and Joe, as well. I'm sure Joe was asking after some haggis leg. I think he was a few yes. weeks ago, and, and and unfortunately, Joe, we've just got whole haggises. We uh, we remove the legs before we put them into the counter. So um, yep, we've had a question in Mark from Laura oh. Mason. Uh, do frozen pie packs need to be pre-ordered or can I just pick one up when I'm in the shop? Great question, Lord. It, it's a fantastic question. Now, the, the frozen pie packs, um, sorry, who was that? It was question? Laura Mason. Laura, hello, that. Laura. So, fantastic question. Yes, if you want to pick one up whilst you're in store, we may not have one put up, but it only takes us a few minutes. So, if you don't mind waiting, it's not a problem. Just call in, ask the team and we'll put one together for you. Uh, but it is the ultimate way to enjoy your pies because you just put a bit of egg wash on, pop them in the oven for about, well, if you haven't defrosted them from frozen 40, 45 minutes, get them nice golden brown. It is the only way to really, truly enjoy a Turnbull's pie. There you go. Uh, Laura, was it? Yes. Laura, you obviously know all about our frozen pie packs. Um, Anyone else, or is that it for the minute? That's it for the minute, yeah. That's it for the minute. Now then, coming up, next weekend, next Sunday I think it is, it's Valentine's Day. Producer Matt has been working on our Valentine's Day promotion with Chef Rachel. Rachel Vickers has put uh, helped Matt, uh, along with Butcher Dan, put this fantastic uh, Valentine's Day promotion together. Now there's all sorts going on, so let me try and explain what we're going to do for Valentine's Day next weekend. Producer Matt, keep me right mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. We will be running our ever popular Friday night steak offer on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday of next week. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes, so, so our regular offer just extended. Yep, the regular offer. Now that is if you buy any two premium steaks, you get a free steak sauce. So we're going to be running that offer, as I say, next weekend, all weekend, Thursday through to Sunday. So if you want to pick a couple of steaks up and get a free steak sauce, that is running. But if you fancy something a little bit more special, we've lined up a couple of four course meals because we're going to chuck some chocolates in as well. So we've got a starter, you get a choice of starter. We've got two choices. We've got date night and the honeymoon. So on date night, you get a choice, um, well, on both, you get a choice of starters. It is artichoke and asparagus wrapped in parma ham. We've tried all of these. Rachel, uh, they are delicious, uh, well done. She's also done a soup, which is a homemade spiced sweet potato soup. Delicious, I've got to say, very impressed with that. You then get a choice of steak that comes with a peppercorn sauce and sides, uh, which is daffinois potato, and the other side is uh, it's brock uh, savoy cabbage tender stem broccoli sprouts pancetta and figs and that I can tell you is delicious this is all cooked all prepared by chef Rachel all you have to do is heat it through in the oven uh, we're going to do a little video that you're going to be able to access and uh, Rachel and Dan will talk you through how to prepare everything how to plate it up so we're in lockdown, there's no restaurants, but this year you can produce restaurant quality food from the comfort of your own home. They're gonna talk you through on a video. We'll give you the link to our YouTube channel. You can watch, you can watch how to do it. Uh, it also comes with cooking instructions, which producer Matt is producing as we speak. Um, and to finish for your dessert, uh, it's a rich chocolate tart with strawberry coolie. Producer Matt, I happen to know, because I caught you this afternoon trying it, give us a rundown on the dessert. So Rachel's put together this absolutely fantastic, uh, fantastic dessert there, Mark. Uh, really, really rich, smooth chocolate. She's done in a homemade pastry, and she's even made a raspberry, uh, strawberry coolie sauce, sorry, that comes in a little pot on the side and just drizzle that over the top, and it's got the rich flavor the sourness and tartness from the coolie, or tell you what, that's a proper <laughs> dessert in my book. Listen, if you want to serve up restaurant quality food, this is the thing to go with. Uh, it also comes, the date night menu comes with a bottle of our Rioja uh, and a box of chocolates. But if you want to go for the, 
the honeymoon, the upgrade. It comes with a bottle of Rioja. It also comes with a bottle of Prosecco and a slightly larger box of chocolates. It's the ultimate. And you can also upgrade from the honeymoon. You can change your steak to a tomahawk. Now, this is all available online. We're going to talk a little bit more about that when we come back. But uh, just for those who are interested in the steak on the offer, I think we can go down to the shop now live. Butcher Dan is going to tell us about the steaks. Butcher Dan, are you there? Hello, yes, I'm here at Rock. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through some of the steaks that we've got on offer for this Valentine's Day. Uh, we're going to start with the rump steak. The rump's always really good value. It's um, a bit more of an economical cut. It's probably a little bit more textured than the sirloin or the ribeye or, or the fillet obviously but you do get a really nice beefy flavour with the rump. You can cook that nice and rare, you can cook it all the way through the medium well and it should be nice nice and tender uh, as long as you have it right. So next I'll show you the ribeyes. This comes from the fore quarter of the animal. Comes right off the rib. You can see you always get this nugget of fat there. Um, you get a little bit of marbling that runs through it here. And this part is a beautiful part of the steak. I wouldn't really cook this much under medium rare. That fat tends not to be quite as pleasant if you cook it too rare. I know some people do like to cook rare, but uh, for me, medium rare to medium is about perfect. Next, I'll show you the sirloin. So, the ribeye actually runs into the sirloin. This is getting down to the animal. Um, you get a layer of fat on the top there. It's a really good compromise of tenderness and flavor. So you'll get the marbling in there and it'll be nice and tender. Next, we're gonna do the, talk about the fillet steak. This comes from inside the carcass. It's one of the least worked muscles on the animal, which is why it's so tender. It actually runs down the inside of the rib cage. Um, possibly not the most flavorful, but if you cook it right, again, it's still lovely and tasty. But what you really get with the fillet is that super tenderness, um, which is, you know, a lot more tender than all of the other cuts. Also, don't forget to pick up our Valentine's Day um, guide. It's got everything that we're doing um, on the, the steak packs. It's also got a little bit of a cooking guideline there. Um, a little bit about where all, all our steaks come from, how we mature them. Um, we've also got, if you search on YouTube, we've got um, a bit more in-depth cooking guide. Um, so if you just YouTube Turnbull's Butchers, I believe, that will correct us uh, if I'm wrong, um, but that should come up as well. Wow, there we go. You heard it from the one and only Butcher Dan. What a fantastic explanation of your steaks, all for the Valentine's Day steak night. Now, producer Matt, I'll tell you what I have done. I think Dan talked about seasoning the steaks, but I was going to bring a box of our molten salt up, which I wanted to tell everyone about. Is Can we get Butcher, is Butcher Dan, Butcher Dan might tell us about the molten salt. But yep. Butcher Dan's still there. Can we'll we just, get him? Hello, Dan. Yeah, we'll go back. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, I'm still here. Yeah. We've got the molden salts, which are just about as good as you'll get. We've got the regular sea salt um, there. We've also got this, which is the smoked sea salt. Um, I would highly recommend the smoked one. It doesn't have a smoked flavour exactly. It's quite a unique, intense flavour that it gives you steak. And um, both really good options. Also, you'll need some pepper on there. A little bit of garlic, maybe. Uh, rosemary and thyme always go well as well. Um, most important secret is to make sure you rest your steak. Cheers. Thanks for that, Dan. That's great. Thanks for hanging on and uh, coming back on there. So we've got um, only, we've only got a limited amount of these meals available. We put an email out yesterday. Um, if you've got it, you, you, you'll be a little bit aware of the Valentine's Day offer. I think we've sold about 15% of our availability. Producer Matt, am I yeah, correct yeah, in saying that? Yeah, quite already. So, so if you've so snapped one up, you're, you're going to earn for a treat on Valentine's Day. Someone clearly loves you. <laughs> there we go. Make sure, but we have only got limited amounts, so make sure you get on in plenty of time and place your order. Now, my February edition of the BBC Good Food magazine arrived, and in there was a little article uh, about how popular sharing platters are these days. 
So we recently teamed up with Tony Breakwell, uh, producer Matt. Are we able to tag Tony in the yep. um, into the video so he can get to see this? But Tony produces these fantastic um, sharing boards. They're not chopping boards. They are just for sharing platters. They're ideal. You can hold them and pass them round. Uh, he did a fantastic two metre socially distanced sharing platter, which was, was great. Uh, we're going to be selling these. I think prices range from £35 right through to about £80. But if you're interested in some of Tony's charcuterie uh, sharing platters, please get, ask in store at the, the uh, butchery counter. I'll be there, Butcher Dan, if you just ask us about it behind the checkouts. Um, we're going to be selling them from the food hall. But uh, Tony, is it, I think, Lesbury? Yes, then Lesbury. Ipswin, yeah. sort of way. Uh, anyway, he produces these. And we thought it would be interesting. We haven't done a shop tour for a little while. We thought we'd uh, so we'd take you around our charcuterie sharing platter section. So earlier on today, producer Matt filmed me. Can we cut to that now, Matt? Yep. So it's all the rage at the minute. We're in lockdown. Not a lot to do. You're watching the TV. You're either binging on the latest TV series or you're watching some film. What better way to spend it than with a sharing platter? Now here at Turmels, you can see we've got everything you need for the perfect sharing platter. Along the top here, we've got all kinds of different olives. You can have a look there. Producer Matt is picking that all up. We've also got underneath there, we've got fabulous patties. We've got a whole range of different flavored patties. And if we cut to the other side, we'll come around the corner here. All kinds of charcuterie here. We've got different, um, different types of um, delicious Spanish meats. We've got everything from chorizo to serrano ham. We've got these, these are absolutely fabulous mixed packs. You've got a little bit of everything in here. Ideal, we've got horseshoe chorizos ready just to slice off and eat. And um, we've got cheese biscuits. Uh, we've got breadsticks. Oh, we've got these delicious tortillas. Anything you can just mix and match all of this uh, fig wedges. How about that? There's just a little bit of everything for you here. Um, cheeses as well. Can't forget the cheese. All sorts of local cheese. We've got Dodderton's. We've got Northumberland Cheese Company. Uh, oils, vinegars. Basically anything you want for the ideal sharing platter. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Butcher Alex if he'll prepare me a sharing platter and um, I'm going to try it live on TV so I think we're going to cut back to me now get in the shop make up a fantastic sharing platter there we go and look at what uh, Butcher Alex has done for me we hope you enjoyed that little look around the shop I don't know whether we can get a close in on the board there yeah you can you can see we've got um, our chorizo pork and onion patty we've got some brie on there delicious mixed olives sun-dried tomatoes we've got some beautiful cured meats you can see there that is the mixed pack um, fantastic way now if you're watching if you're watching way too much TV and you're binging on some TV at the minute because we're in lockdown you shouldn't be doing it but it's you know it's allowed why not serve up one of these delicious sharing platters and um, if you really want to why not serve up a glass of wine as I said mentioned earlier our wine of the month here at Turnbulls this month is the Rioja it's a Marcelino who who from memory was a famous Newcastle footballer who wasn't very good but uh, the Rioja Marcelino the wine's far better than the footballer um, I've got to say this is one of my favorite wines that we serve here at the food hall there's 10 10 percent off all month so what better excuse to sample it than with 10 percent discount all february make sure you try it i've poured myself a glass producer matt i do apologize you've forgotten I've, about I've, us again i've forgotten you? about you I've only, I've only brought one glass well, i was going to say it's not even dry january it's, it's february now we're into february so we can drink yep we're gonna have a drink um excellent note can highly recommend it uh, some delicious meats make sure you try it uh, have we any more shout outs any more comments on we on do the so screen? we've got gary brown oh gary how are you doing <laughs> gary 
Gary Brown says, need a nice glass of red to go with that. That's exactly what he's got there. Uh, Gary, I could read your mind, or you could read <laughs> mine, I don't know. Brian Cheers, Hunt. Gary. Brian Hunt says, that looks too good to share. That's a good point, Brian. Yeah, that's why I've only poured one glass. Producer we've Matt's getting We've left actually out. got Tony Breckwell, who makes those fantastic boards, is tuned in live as well. Hello, Tony. Tony, a fantastic job you're doing. Um, he's, he's just a skilled, talented person, Tony. So... Pick up yourself a boat. These are just fantastic, aren't they? They, they really great, are. Yeah, really really are good. Great. So, everyone, thanks for watching. Um, we'll hopefully see you in store. Don't forget, uh, producer Matt's making some signs of us, and I haven't got a clue. I just wanted to show you uh, the Click and Collect website. Oh gonna yes, we're going to. Sorry, we're going to show look. you how you can place your Valentine's Day order. I'm going to hand over to producer well, Matt. Like, do one better because you can see my screen mark. You can direct everyone, and I'll do the dirty work and press all the buttons. How about that? So, so we can now see your screen. Is that correct? So you can see here, I'm live on the website, and the first thing you're greeted with there is the countdown to Valentine's Day. So we've got 10 days, eight hours, and 44 minutes to go. Excellent. So we go into the. Uh, oh, you can just click on there. Can you to order? Click on there to order. There we go. So you're straight in. You can see the date night, Valentine's meal for two. Uh, we've got the Sharon is Karen, that's the Valentine's Tomahawk, that's the, the honeymoon that's been upgraded. And then you can see there, producer Matt's hovering over the honeymoon. We've also got some fantastic gift options. We've got a little gift box for her and for him. So you can buy your partner the ultimate foodie gift from here at Turnbulls. We've got Prosecco if you want to celebrate with Prosecco. Click into there and you can order, you just decide which starter you want you can choose from the artichoke and asparagus or you can have the soup from there then pick your two steaks you've got a choice of fillet rump or sirloin different sizes and then basically you add that to the cart there you go that's all you have to do to secure your valentine's meal as i say limited amount when they're gone they're gone uh, that's make sure you get it ordered so i nearly forgot about that have i forgot about anything else producer matt no, I think that's about it for today. Listen, everyone, thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in store. Don't forget, we've got that delicious beef on sale. Pick up your share in platters. Make sure you try our wine of the month, Rioja. Most importantly, everyone, please stay safe. Take care. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.